Very good morning, my dear children. Welcome to the YouTube channel H2O Chemistry. So, in this video, we are going to talk about the textbook evaluation of atoms and molecules. See, I have completed all the topics given in the atoms and molecules, which I have given a separate playlist. So, if you are interested, you can go and watch it. Every single topic is clearly explained carefully with the suitable examples and then here in our channel the learning should be a conceptual one so you will find chemistry is very simple and interesting and easy so that is the main objective of our channel uh, so if 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 a student come across chemistry they should not panic instead they want to become more interested in learning of chemistry so that is the main objective of our channel so let us start the evaluation part of atoms and molecules today so the first question given in the choose the best answer is which of the following has the smallest mass the options are 6.023 in 10 to the power of 23 atoms of helium b one atom of helium and 2c is 2 grams of helium and the last one is one mole of atoms or one mole atoms of helium so how to solve this sum see we know the concept the concept is gram atomic mass or gram molecular mass equals one mole right so this one mole contains 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 particles and which is a gas so which occupies 22.4 liters at STP look at this one mole and 6.023 particles so these two are same am I right these two are same so what is this gram atomic mass so the helium is atom so the applicable is gram atomic mass this is okay what is a gram atomic mass of helium generally we represent helium as representation we represent 2 he4 that means this is the atomic mass so gam of helium is equal to 4 grams so it's a very simple idea so let us go to the so this gram atomic mass of uh, helium is 4 grams which is equal to how many mole 1 mole so the 1 mole consists of this many particles 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 atoms of helium atoms of helium see if I say 1 mole atoms or 6.023 in 10 to the power of 23 atoms all are same right so by this concept explain the first one 6.023 in 10 to the power of 23 atoms of helium just nothing but 4 grams so they asked about mass remember so we have to clearly talk about in terms of mass so 6.023 in 10 to the power of 23 atoms of helium is nothing but 4 grams similarly 1 mole atoms of helium 1 mole atoms of helium also weighs 4 grams so my next question to you is what about 2 gram of helium which is smaller than that am I right so that means if 4 grams is equal to 1 mole therefore 2 gram is equal to half a mole half a mole right so the half a mole mass is 2 grams so let me write here it is 2 gram so now what is our other option is B 1 atom of helium how do you find this 1 atom of helium see we know that 6.023 in 10 to the power of 23 atoms of helium is equal to 1 mole which has an exact mass of 4 grams right so as per this so let me solve from this okay so 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 atoms of helium weighs 4 grams if it is so what about 1 gram weight one atom of helium weighs so what we have to do you have to divide this by 
6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 so if you divide this side automatically you have to divide, divide this side so 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 divided by 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 am i right so this is the idea so let me write okay atoms of helium is equal to 4 gram divided by so here also we have to divide remember because both sides we have to divide by 6.023 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 now when the 10 to the power of 23 goes to top what will happen so let me work out so this is an idea my dear children so let me work out here now now what will happen to the 6.023 and 6.023 so both will cancel out so it will become 1 so 1 atom of helium is equal to 4 by 6.023 that's what I'm going to write over there so 1 atom of helium that means weight of 1 atom of helium just nothing but 4 grams divided by 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23. So when 10 to the power of 23 goes topper, what will happen? 4 divided by 6.023 into 10 to the power of minus 23 grams. So now we have to solve this. So we will solve that first and then we will continue. So first of all, we will do a calculation. 4 divided by 6.023. I want to make it as a whole number. So we have a three digits after the dot. So multiply thousand by thousand. So we can convert this into whole number. So four thousand divided by six zero two three. So now if you solve this four thousand six zero two three. So there is no six zero two three in four thousand. So make a dot and then add zero. In forty, how many six are there? Thirty six. Right? Three six six are thirty six. So it may be a 6 times, 6, 0, 2, 3 into 6. So 3, 6 are 18, balance 1. 2, 6 are 12 plus 1, 13, balance 1. So 6 into 0 into 6, 0 plus 1, 1. 6 into 6, 36. So 3, 6, 1, 3, 8 divided by, sorry, if you minus this, so it will become 10, it will become 9, it will become 9, it will become 9, it will become 3. So 10 minus 8, 2, 9 minus 3, 6, 9 minus 1, 8, 9 minus 6, 3, 3 minus 3, 0. So it's 6, 6 times, right? So now again if you calculate one more 0 if you add it, again is 6 times. So again I'm going to write 6 times. So 3, 6, 1, 3, 8. So again if you minus this, what will happen? It will become 10. So it will become again 2. It will become 1, 11 it will be. 11 minus 3 it will become 8 so here 5 will be there 5 so 5 minus 1 4 8 minus 6 um, 2 again 0 and then if we add one more 0 2 4 8 2 0 so this is an answer so in 24 so 6 4s are 24 remember so again it's 4 time 6 0 2 3 into 4 so 4 3s are 12 balance 1 4 into 2 8 plus 1 9 0 and then 24 so this is answer 24 0 9 2 so let me conclude here so this is a 0.664 so the answer will be 0 0.664 into 23, 23 grams or else 6.64 into 10 to the power of minus 24 grams so if i move one digit here i want to raise one point so this is an answer so let me conclude the answer now so one atom of helium weighs 6.64 into 10 to the power of minus 24 grams now tell me my dear children which is an option so the option b is the correct one so this is the right answer smallest mass i hope this video will be very helpful in learning the first to one mark given in the session see don't think that this one mark takes so much time but learning concepts will be very very important so in that point of view this video will take a 
a good look i believe okay thank you my dear children if you like this video share it subscribe and you will find the bell button in the next so click on it you will get the notification very quickly thank you